So in this video, I wanna talk about letting go. I wanna talk about the power of letting go and how to do it on a basic level. Now, there's a lot of mistakes people make, a lot of challenges that people make with it. They, they make it difficult. They make, um, they make it hard, let's put it that way. And uh, the truth is it's much easier than you think. So I'm gonna go through the basics and then I'm gonna talk about a few things that people do to make it challenging. Now, the book, uh, Let It Go, you can check that out. It'll be somewhere up here. There's also the book, Sedona Method. And uh, I want you to think about both of those books and then also the revealing process. This is a course I put out on this process and, and slightly different takes on the process. But what I'm gonna do in this video is break it down into its core, how to do it and how to use it effectively at a simplistic level. Okay, so let's get started. Now, before I do, I wanna invite you to subscribe. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely subscribe. I don't want you to miss any of the awesome content. Hit the like button if you haven't hit the like button. So if you find something interesting about this video, definitely throw me a comment too. And a, and a share would be nice. But with that said, let's get going. What is letting go? Well, letting go was originally created by a guy named Lester Levinson. Lester Levinson taught David Hawkins and uh, letting go and taught uh, Hail to Waskin let, letting go. And they both created different systems. And there's other people out there too, including myself that have kind of evolved and created our own systems around this and mine's the revealing process. Now, how does it work in a nutshell? Well, it's really simple. Your emotions attach to your thoughts, right? Think about it for a minute. If you have the thought, I don't like myself or I hate myself, and maybe there's anger attached to that. What holds that thought in place? What gives it all its power? It's the anger, it's the emotion. And one emotion, anger, can hold how many different thoughts, right? So the more you sit in the vibration of anger, the more you're gonna get anger thoughts, right? And the more you think anger thoughts, like you, you think about angry thoughts, the more you're gonna amplify the anger. So the process of letting go was created originally by Lester Levinson. And he figured out really quickly, he was, he was told he was gonna die. And his whole life he'd been angry and he'd been pushing and forcing to try to get ahead. And he started this process of just letting go of all his anger. What he wanted to do was feel love before he died. He wanted to feel love before he passed away. That was his big goal. And in that process of wanting to feel love before he passed away, and by the way, I'm simplifying this if you know the story, he started to heal. As he created more and more love in his life, more and more love for everything around him, love for all his past memories, all his past experiences, it was amazing how his life changed. And he ended up creating this amazing process called Sedona Method, releasing, letting go. And it's all about this simple idea. Now, how does it work at a deeper level, at a core level? Well, we have certain emotions stored in our body and we hold them up. And the, that starts apathy, grief, fear, lust, anger, pride, courage, acceptance, peace. Hawkins likes to use love, peace. And then, and, and there's a more, and some of you might know his bigger scale that goes into willingness, neutrality, enlightenment, stuff like that. But for this course, we're gonna use a simplified scale. It's right here, okay? Apathy, grief, fear, that's the red. Lust, anger, pride, that's the green. Courage, acceptance, love, peace. This is where life is easy up here. This is where life is giving. This is where life takes care of you. When you're living in courage, acceptance, love, peace, and, and the expanded scale, you've got neutrality and willingness and all these other emotions, life becomes very giving to you. So let's say you're at the bottom. Apathy is numbness, right? It's heavy. So if you're feeling numb, you're feeling heavy. If I ask you what you're feeling right now, can you feel your heart? And you say, I don't feel anything. That's most likely apathy. Grief is, is pain of crying out. It's like, please save me, please help me. There's somebody that's gotta help me. So we go into apathy to protect ourselves from the grief. We go into apathy so we don't have to feel the pain of sadness. This is where um, we break attachments, strong attachments. This could happen when you break up with a girlfriend, you go into grief. This could happen when you break up with a boyfriend. If you got a boyfriend, if you're, you're a girl and you're watching this. This could happen when you break up with a, uh, you lose a belief system. I had a, a client who was a hardcore Christian and his belief systems were shattered. He'd watched some video and somebody convinced him Christianity wasn't real. And he went into massive grief over that, okay? Then there's fear, fear, uh, nervousness, anxiety. And you can see here, these are needy emotions. Please save me, please protect me. These are avoiding emotions. Now we get up into lust. Lust, wanting, craving, chasing, needing. And this is where so many guys that come to me that want to improve their dating life have a hard, hard time. They go into lust over women. They go into wanting over women. Matter of fact, this is one of the big traps for letting go when you're doing this process. A lot of people just let go because they want 
They do letting go to get a goal. They do letting go to get the girl. I want to let go of all my fear so I can get the girl. And they're all completely trying to let go and wanting. But letting go only works from courage and above. It only works when you're up here, guys. And so we're going to talk about how to do that. The next one is anger. You know, if you're at a bar and you get in a bar fight and you just lash out at somebody, that's anger. And then that person starts lashing back out at you. It causes extreme reactiveness. And this is a win-lose. And uh, excuse me, win-lose is particularly pride. Pride is the next one. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to win. A lot of you make a lot of money from pride. Pride is a very active energy and you can become a millionaire, billionaire from pride. You can hustle. Both of these are about force. They're about winning. They're about being better than. Now, courage is the first energy that Hawkins talks about, Lester talks about, everybody that is really about power. This is where you go into love and uh, for the first time. This is where you begin to feel your vulnerable heart for the first time. You begin to feel your heart opening. Your heart is closed down here. And for those of you who don't know what a heart, what your heart feels like when I talk a lot about embodiment, that's where the heart really begins to open. You feel this vulnerability and this, this willingness here. If your heart's hurt or damaged, yeah, you're gonna be, you're gonna open your heart and you're gonna feel a lot of pain and grief down here. But if you have the courage, this is a win-win, to keep your heart open and to feel your anger, to feel your fear, that's when you really begin to let go. So if you wanna let go of your fear of approaching women, you can't do it from lust. Or if you wanna let go of your fear of getting into a relationship, you can't do it from lust. You have to do it from courage. You step up to courage or above and we're gonna talk about how to do that. You look at these lower emotions, ag flap, we call this, apathy, grief, fear, love, singer, pride. And you start to say, you know what? I can, because the nature of courage is I can. I can look right at that anger. I can handle it. I can be right there with it. I can sit with it. I can look at it. Uh, I can look right at that lust, that part of me that wants. And the first step is you gotta let go of the lust. The lust for the woman, the wanting for the woman, because all that lusting, wanting, chasing pushes her away. The best with women are super relaxed and calm. Same thing with money. If you want money in your life and you're lusting after money, all that hunger for money pushes it away. But when you're calm and relaxed and you know you can keep your heart open, I can do it, then the money starts to come to you up here. So this is all about learning to let go of all of this, the attachment to all of this, making this wrong, the aversion to all of this, pushing it away so you don't feel it, and starting to live up here in courage and above. Now, this doesn't mean this, these energies are gone. You can look right at your fear from courage and say, you know what, I can't wait to jump out of that airplane. I can't wait to approach that woman. I can't wait to apply for that new job. And that courage, you might be nervous, you might be shaky, but you know what, I can handle it. I can do it. I know I'm gonna grow from it. That's where the magic happens. And that comes with that vulnerable open heart, not needy heart, but a vulnerable open heart. This heart that's filled with a little bit of maybe nervousness, but love or gratitude or appreciation or joy. And then it goes up from there to acceptance and peace. So let's think about this in a more practical level now. Let's make this really practical so you can start using it today. Now, before I do, I wanna invite you, uh, if you've got something that's coming up, you've done some of this work and, and you have experience with this, definitely put comment in the chat so we can all learn about it and grow together. Okay, let's dive right in. Now, what's a practical level from which you can do this? Well, it's very simple. The first step is you have to welcome, you have to allow. You have to have the courage to welcome. So it starts out with courage, right? I have the courage. I can welcome my fear. I can welcome my anger. And, you, and then you want to sit with it for a little bit. Make sure your heart's open. You'll feel that vulnerability here. It might be sadness. So you open that heart a little bit. You welcome that vulnerability. You welcome that fear. You sit with it. You, you, you kind of be with it for a little bit. And until you fully rise up here and you're like, okay, I can handle this. I can be with this. You don't let it go. The letting go happens after you've reached this like state of, you know what, I can handle this anger. I can handle this fear. And you can start really small. Start with easy things. Like maybe I've got a little fear of that, a little anger at that. Practice till you get good at it. But you might wanna sit with it. You might wanna sit with it for 30 seconds. You might wanna sit with it for a minute and just keep welcoming, being with it until you feel this sense of relaxation and there'll be like an opening. That's the embodiment piece right here. When I teach energetic releasing, I'm teaching embodiment through the whole body. And then I'm teaching you to open in the midst of that embodiment and welcome and, and give love and, and really feel it. I mean, really turn this on and really feel it and really feel the core of your body, your grounding, and that all supports the release. That's all part of the energetics. And then you let go, okay? 
So energetic releasing is all about that feeling, that core of that body. So for you that's on this video, just imagine for a minute, you got a window in your heart and you can ask that heart to open as much as you do. Just allow it to open, allow it to relax, be with it, and then sit with the emotion for a little bit. So pick a thought, pick an emotion. You know, I'm frustrated at my girlfriend. I'm frustrated at this job interview. I'm angry at this job interview. Well, welcome the frustration. That's a feeling, right? That's that's on the apathy, grief, fear, lust, anger, pride list. That's That would be in the anger category. I'm frustrated. Kind of anger and wanting mixed together, right? And there's all these other emotions that go with this. We're not gonna worry about that right now. And so, uh, so feel that frustration for a moment and just sit with it. And sit with it a little longer and just ask your heart to open and sit with it a little longer and a little longer. And just keep welcoming. And the next step I want you to do is once you've sat with it for a little bit, you've relaxed, you feel your body start to relax, you feel you're relaxed in your chest, you can feel your stomach. I want you to ask yourself, can I let it go? Can I let it go? Can I let some of it go? Can I let all of it go? Or can I let some of it go? And you might feel a little lighter. And a little lighter is yes. You might feel an intensification first, like this sense of, oh, wow, the fear is increasing. And then it relaxes and gets a little lighter. And that's a yes, too. And then the next step is, would I let it go? That's another question you can ask that. And then you can ask, when? When would I let it go? So can I let it go? Would I let it go? When? Really simple, but you gotta do the welcoming first. And this is why welcoming it and feeling the heart puts you in the now. So you're really welcoming the now feeling. Can I welcome the now feeling of anger? Can I welcome the now feeling of sadness? Maybe it's overwhelming, but you just welcome it for like a minute and sit with it, let it rush through your body, almost like a little meditation, asking your heart to open. And then you ask, can I let it go? And maybe 5% lets go, that's great. Because if you keep doing that process, can I let it go, would I let it go when? Then more will let go, and more will let go, and more will let go, and then eventually it becomes a non-issue. Then the next question, if you really wanna take it all the way, can I welcome love for this? thought or this memory. If it's if you're getting there and it's, it feels a slighter, well, can I replace it with love? Can I welcome love? And the love is when your heart opens. That's when you feel the vulnerability. Love is courage, acceptance, love, peace. All of these are a form of love because your heart opens. So in courage, it's power, it's choice. I'm going to step in and I'm going to be loving through action. Acceptance is I'm going to be loving through being. And then the top state here that he's got on here is being. And that's being. I am is experiencing love. I am a millionaire. I am in a successful relationship. It's the I am statements. And that comes from peace. If you got all this baggage, it's hard to say that and feel it. But if you look at something in your life you're really good at that you do without thinking, you're, it puts you in peace. You just say, I am an amazing salsa dancer. And you feel it rush through your body. And it's beautiful. So that's what the I am statements are about. So again, all of this, think of all of this as love and just let go and then eventually say can i welcome when it gets lighter and lighter and lighter can i welcome love for this can i welcome courage can i welcome acceptance can i welcome uh peace and then work your way up and then start with something else always start small when you're first releasing always start really simple start easy start with the easiest things you can find on a scale of one to ten ten being super difficult stuff start with one twos and threes really easy stuff get really good at the easy stuff and then suddenly the other stuff later just gets easier and easier and easier that's how lester started when he first started this he did a lot of what he called tendencies all the tendencies for the little things to pull on him oh there's some dust in the corner i'm gonna release on that until i until i'm back in love and i'm okay oh there's some dog barking in the background bugging me i'm gonna let go on that um, there's people arguing over there. I'm going to let go on that. And he kept doing this over and over. And with each new experience of doing this, he compounded his ability to release more and more, faster and faster, better and better. Okay. So this is really powerful. Um, and I want to thank you. I, hopefully you're getting a lot of value out of this. I'm going to hold this scale up for you one more time. Take a look at it. You know, right down here, this is where the world is attacking. It's coming at you. Everything seems difficult and hard. When you're living primarily here, we have all these emotions. You're living primarily here. This is where life's a fight. And then when you get up here, this is where life is giving. 
Life is loving, life is fun, you can't wait to live. And you see this, these people that have a passion for life, they're, they're encourager above, they're living up here. And you can think of who those people are. I'd love for you to write down somebody that's living encourager above, it'd be great for all of us to kind of look at that and have a discussion and learn from it. So that would be awesome. Um, if you're interested in learning more about the revealing process course I did online, uh, we'll put a, a link in here, go to thefearlessman.com. If you're interested in learning about my courses on training this stuff, especially energetic releasing, where we do embody-based releasing, check out truecourage.io, where I go deeper into embodiment. I definitely wanna do a video just on embodiment in the future and the power of it. And when you mix it with letting go, oh my God, the life-changing effects it has. So with that said, if you haven't checked out my previous video on why you care too much, definitely check that out. We'll put a link somewhere in here. And remember, true courage leads to true happiness. I'll see you in the next video.